this is Rick Cassells from exercisesforinjuries.com. Today I wanted to reply back to a question that I ended up getting on the blog. So there was a, I had placed a, you know, an exercise that I end up using for my clients that are recovering from knee replacement. And I ended up getting a question back from a fitness professional and it was from Deborah S. And what Deborah asked is, you know, Rick, what is happening in the video demo with the other leg? It appears to me that you are having to overflex the other knee while rolling forward and back. I wouldn't be able to do this with my clients who have knee pathology because it requires way too much flexion of the other knee. Generally, both knees are problematic. Can you explain why you show it this way? So thank you very much, Deborah, for the question. And what the exercise that we were talking about was, I have my client sitting and let's say this is the knee that's been replaced, the knee replacement. What I was getting them to do is lean forward and increase that flexion of the knee. So I can bring it back, then get them to lean forward and increase that flexion of the knee. I get them to bring it back and lean forward, increase the flexion of the knee. Now, Deborah's comment was, this is how I usually end up having the knee. And the reason why I end up doing the exercise this way is because a lot of times when it relates to knee replacements, you know, one knee is replaced at a time as opposed to both. So the replace one, see how that ends up going, and then they'll end up replacing the second. So usually the other knee ends up being the good knee and ends up having better flexion in that knee. Now, if this opposite knee is problematic, there's two options that I would recommend. So what I can end up doing is, if both of the knees are problematic, I can go from, in, from a straight position, I can bring in a ball and I can bring that ball back to that point of pain free, straightening the leg, pulling that ball back. Now I can move that ball closer to me to end up making it more challenging. So bringing it back, working on that flexion and then straightening out, pulling that heel back, working on that flexion and this opposite knee, this other knee is more of a straight position. So I have them both straight, good alignment with the leg, pulling that heel back to the comfortable point, pain-free point, straightening and coming back. And I can keep this other leg you know, straight as much as I can. In order to make it more challenging, I can bring the ball closer to me and pull it towards me and end up getting more flexion in that knee. Now, if that ends up being too much of an issue or they just can't do it, the next option that I can end up doing is I can end up moving to, I would recommend on the bed. So. I would recommend that they end up getting on the bed. And what they can end up doing is, it's usually a lot easier to get on and off the bed compared to on and off the floor. So once again, I'm gonna use that ball. Legs are straight. I can put the hands wherever I want and I'm getting them to pull that heel towards the seat and straighten out again pull that heel towards the seat and straighten out again. Now this left knee, I can keep it wherever I want. 
whatever is in a comfortable position. It can be slightly bent, perfectly straight. I can put a pillow underneath it for support. And I made it, I'm making the exercise more challenging by moving the ball closer to my seat. And now I'm bringing that heel towards the seat and straightening out and that heel towards the towards my seat and straightening out and working on that flexion. So there you go. Thank you very much, Deborah, for the question. Um, I hope that ends up helping out and kind of explaining why I chose that exercise and why I do that exercise and giving you two options that you can end up recommending or giving to your clients or you can do your, for yourself when it comes to a knee replacement exercise. So this is Rick Casales from exercisesforinjuries.com. Swing by exercisesforinjuries.com. You can type in your injury or pain. There's a good chance that I end up having an article or a video on it. Secondly, if you're watching this on YouTube, head up above and hit subscribe. And what that'll do is every couple days, you'll end up getting a video for myself where I kind of talk about injuries and pain and exercise. Now, thirdly, if you are looking for a pain relieving program to help you overcome your knee replacement pain, check out the program that I end up using, which is called Knee Replacement Handbook. And you can get Knee Replacement Handbook over at kneereplacementhandbook.com. So that's it. This is Rick Casales from exercisesforinjuries.com saying take care and bye-bye.